Hey everyone, today I have a review of a 36 inch soundbar by the brand Darmo Shark. Um, it's at a pretty good reasonable price on Amazon currently. You can check it out, the link will be in the description. They have several other lengths, but this is again the 36 inch one, which I think is pretty suitable for most TVs. Right out of the packaging, you are greeted with quite a few foam padding to help with the cushioning of the soundbar. It had no issues with it being damaged during transit. Um, on the other side is the actual accessories box, which includes the power cable as well as some mounting brackets if you need to mount this on your wall, which is convenient that they come with this. You also get the, of course, some literature, the instruction manual, some old-fashioned composite cables, and of course the remote itself. I'd like to also point out that this soundbar is compatible with Bluetooth so you can easily wirelessly stream music from your device as I'm demonstrating right here. Now to give you a quick tour around this soundbar, it's pretty straightforward with very few buttons and very few ports. Here on the back on opposite corners are the locations where you were to mount this on the wall. But of course if you choose to just place it on a flat surface, there are some nice grips on the bottom to help prevent slippage as well. The ports are located here in the center back. Starting from the right, you have the power input board and you also have an audio output port. Next to that is an coaxial input and then your line and optical inputs. In terms of the buttons built into the soundbar itself, right there in the middle is the power button. To the left is the mode button. This button just easily lets you toggle between the different inputs, so like Bluetooth, coaxial, and optical inputs. And then you have your plays and pause button as well as your volume up and volume down buttons. All of these functions can also be found on the included remote, which doesn't come with batteries included, but they do take two AAA, so it's not too hard to find. Once you have that in, you can power it up. It has the red power button right there at the upper left corner, clearly laid out function buttons. You've got all your sources of inputs there, um, skip and reverse tracks, volume, um, pause and play, mute button, Bluetooth, all of that's there. I just kind of find it strange that there's an HDMI slash USB button there when you clearly don't use that on a soundbar, but uh, it might just be one of their universal remotes that they have for the brand and they just kind of stuck it in there. And then the peculiar three buttons here in the middle, movie, music, and news, is basically just EQ settings, so in the news they try to have the um, voices a little bit more pronounced and then in the movie setting they tried to make the bass a little bit more pronounced it's kind of strange to kind of put eq buttons like that but hey that's what you get what i've been using this for mainly for now anyways is the bluetooth feature which is actually quite good so it's very easy to connect and the device shows up very clearly in your settings and once it's connected it'll remember and reconnect next time it's equipped with Bluetooth 4.2, so the range is roughly 33 feet or 10 meters. Um, sound quality is definitely quite good for the price, I think. It has a total of 6 speakers, 4 woofers, and 2 tweeters. At the length of 36 inches, it does allow for a pretty good sound separation, so you can hear the um, left side and right side to have a little bit wider sound stage, which is definitely appreciated. So overall, I think the sound quality is pretty good and it definitely can get quite loud. My main gripe about this is just the fact that the cable is proprietary and it's also built right into the wall adapter. What this means is that unfortunately if you think the cable is a little bit too short, you're going to have to find an extension cable which I never really like to handle. So it would have been nice if they had stuck with say a USB type C connection, that way we could have picked and choose if we wanted a longer cable to suit our needs. It would have also been nice to have a little bit more clear indication of which mode we're on. There is a clear sound that comes when you press the Bluetooth button and also when you turn on the device, but it's not very clear when the device is completely off. I wish there was a little bit more of a sound indication or a more visual indication, even something as LEDs that clearly indicate what mode you're on. But neither of those two points are really deal breakers, so again, I think this is definitely pretty good for the price. It comes with a good amount of accessories, including those wall mounting options. So if you're in the market for a 30-inch soundbar, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description.